Hey guys, Alton here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to our 11th episode of our Learning Linux Fundamentals for Ethical Hacking series as I'm teaching back to you guys what I personally learned as I'm going on the journey of learning ethical hacking myself. So what are we going to talk about in this video? We're going to talk about a couple of different commands. We're going to talk about the grep command and redirecting from one command the output of that into a file. So specifically the purpose of this is to show you how to use the grep feature to filter down searches as you're looking through a file to narrow down the actual output of that onto your shell terminal. And the redirection command is to take whatever you're doing in one command, redirecting it into another file. So I wanna show you that because it's gonna be two common commands that you're gonna do as you're working in your shell terminal. So let's go ahead, let's jump over to my computer screen and let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So I didn't delete any of the other files that we created and edited in our last video, so we may use those, we may not. So what I wanna focus in on this video is using the grep command and also redirecting the output of something to something else. And we're just gonna do some basic examples. So let's go ahead, let's open up terminal. And in terminal, I wanna do a what is grep. So what does grip do? It prints the lines that matches patterns. So what we can do is we can essentially use grep as a search. We can type in grep and in parentheses, type in the search keyword and point it to a specific file and it'll output that information. So for example, if we do our print working directory, you'll notice we're in root. So let's CD out of here. Let's go into our CD var and CD www and CD HTML. And you'll notice that we are now in, of course it's already listed there, but we are in this directory, the var www.html. So let's clear this and let's do an ls-l. So if you remember, remember we have that index.html file let's go ahead and let's view the contents of this file. You'll notice in here that we have a bunch of HTML tags and we have some basic words. So what if we had a very long file and we wanted to search for a specific keyword and just output that to the screen. So what we could do is we could type in grep and let's say that I wanna look for H1. So we're only looking for or H1 header tags within this file. And so let's tell it that we want it to look at specifically this index.html file. And if it finds it, then it's going to output it. But you notice it didn't find it. So let's go ahead and let's cat that. That's because you notice that it's case sensitive and we have lowercase h's. So if we go back into here, and we do lowercase and hit enter, what you're gonna notice now, it only outputted the line with the H1 in it. So that's what we can use grep for. Now let's do another really quick case study on this. So let's go back to our home directory. Let's just make sure that's where we are. We're in our home directory. Let's go into the etc directory. Let's do an ls-l and you'll notice that there are a bunch of files in here. One of the files in here that we can take a look at is the password file. So let me scroll back down to the bottom, clear this out, let's do cat. And what the password file does, I don't remember if I went over this in previous videos, is that it stores user account information. And so if we wanted to look up a specific user, we could do so. So we know that the root user exists, of course. So what we can do, we can just simply search for the details of that user account. So let's go ahead and clear this out and let's type in grep root and PASWD for password. And now it outputs the information for that root user account. What if I wanted to redirect that into another file? We could do that as well. 
But let's go ahead and let's go back to our home directory and let's go to our desktop because we have some test files to play around with rather than messing around with the files in our etc folder. And let's clear this. And it would help if I could type. And let's do an ls-l. You remember we created these two files, file one and file two in the last video. And so let's go ahead and cat what's in both of them. And you'll notice that file one just has one line of text. And let's do this for the second one as well. And this one has some additional information. Let's say that we wanted to take the contents of one of these files and dump them into another file. Well, let me go ahead and show you a very simple way of doing that. And taking this from a pen testing perspective or an IT perspective, let's say that we had our password file or we had the associated shadow file that has the hashes of passwords. Let's say we wanted to dump those into a different file so we could do some sort of some additional work with them. Well, we could do a similar type of thing with these. So what we can do is we can say, and let's do an LS real quick. Let's say that we wanted to take the contents of this file and dump it into a new one. So let's say, let's just assume that this is a password file. It's our shadow file. Well, we could take that and we could use the greater than symbol and redirect the contents of that. And of course, I need to put cat in here. So we're going to concatenate that, the contents of this. And we're going to say, let's put into um, passwords txt so what's happening it's going to take the output of this file the contents because that's what cat does and then it's going to redirect that output into this new file if we hit enter and we do an ls now we have our passwords.txt and if we cat that then it copied the text of the other file into this new file. So that's how the redirect works. And these are just some very simple use cases. So I just wanted to make sure that I use these, these two different commands because grep is commonly used and redirecting with the greater than symbol from the output or whatever command. We could use a grep. We didn't have to use an actual cat we could use a grep as well. So let's actually, let's let's just do this real quick. So let me clear this out. So let's do grep root, and we're gonna search for root, and we're gonna do it on the etc folder passwords file, and we're gonna redirect that, whatever the output for the search is, and let's say root info.txt. And what we're doing is we're doing our grep search for root, on this etc password file and on our desktop we're creating a new file called rootinfo.txt we can do now an ls-l and you're going to notice that there's a new file in here called rootinfo and if i do cat root for the rootinfo we have all the info but what if i wanted to actually take all the contents from the etc password file i could do that as well so we could say cat slash etc password and let's say password, and let's just password um, copy.txt. And if we do an ls again, it's there. And if we cat that, everything has been copied from that file to this new file on our desktop. So simple enough. So you're going to be doing a lot of copying and searching through different things. And these are just basic use cases. And something you're commonly going to do is the grep command and the redirect command. There's some other things that you can do as well. There's a lot more complex ways of doing searching that as I've been learning um, Linux command lines, such as using different um, variables. So we could do you know, a percentage or a star or whatever, but I didn't want to do any sort of a variable search for a wildcard type of a search. We can do piping as well, which is another way, but I just wanted to go over the basics to get you guys thinking and looking at this. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys at future videos. Take care.